Hey guys, how's it going? I just went to an antique mall uh, within the last couple of days and found a couple of really great dolly scale things and thought I would share a few of them with you. I was just so pleased to find some bisque dolls with joints and some like MSD-ish scale things. I also found some A-zone scale slash Blythe scale uh, type things as well, which I will tack on at the end. But check out this little diorama. It was really amazing. And I had so much detail. And there were lots of tiny glass props. I mean, I would call them props, but <laughs> you know, some of these things were like cream and sugar, but they could be like a pitcher or whatever. This little thing would have fit like a USD. So cute. And this, this was amazing. I wish I could have gotten this. Apparently, I mean, you can read this. It was like made to commemorate a live scale horse drawn carriage back in the day. And ooh, look at that price. But it was immaculate. It was incredible. It was oh, so beautiful. I wish I could have brought that home with me, but uh, no way. <laughs> Not for $7,000, but I can take pictures and enjoy it. And, you know, they had G.I. Joe stuff and, I don't know, all kinds of really interesting old dolls. They had them from all different cultures as well. It just felt like a museum. I actually took my kids through there and showed them a bunch of things as well because it was just too cool. And this tiny little uh, tin kitchen was so cute. And then this little grandfather clock is about MSD sized as well. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. So I had to share because it was just too adorable and I wanted to buy everything. Of course I didn't, but <laughs> a, an antique mall is a great place to find stuff apparently. And these dolls I saw several weeks ago and I kept thinking about them. They were only $15 each and they each came with a dress. And so I went back and I bought them. Yes, I did. The dresses fit the um, extra small A-zone body, but you can also stick them on the regular uh, medium size that it just won't snap in the back. So yeah, <laughs> uh, here is, I believe she's the medium size A-zone body and it doesn't snap in the back for her, but for this little girl, it does. It fits like a glove. And it's just so beautifully made. And Kat is more than happy to show us the beauty that is this dress. So I got four dresses and two dolls, both of which um, their eyes open and close. I'll have to show those to you too. For $30 total. So I got four dresses, two dolls, $30 which if you are looking for a dress that's even imitating the look of vintage, you know, you can pay upwards of $30, $40 for one dress. So I feel really lucky to have found this. The scale of the clothing and the quality is just so good. Um, I'll show you the back. So there's one snap closure here. And it's a little difficult to do with one hand, but I will try. <laughs> uh, but let's see. And so anyway, it's just really well made. I'm sorry it's not very easy to see this way, but um, it's really easy to put on the doll. It's in great condition. All four dresses and the dolls themselves are too. Um, this is just a little bead that I got and decided to make it into a mask for cat. And that's how she got her name because she looks kind of like a cat to me here. So in plans for this girl, I plan on repainting her one day. I may even reroute her hair. I have beautiful fiber to do that. Uh, I just don't feel up to doing it right now. And I kind of like her as she is. So we'll see. Now I'll go get the other doll. All right, so here they are, uh, laying down, obviously, since their eyes are closed. <laughs> They're just little sweet dollies. His eyes open and close. 
Um, I'm not entirely sure what type of doll they are. If I find out before I post this video, I will tell you. Or if you guys know, I would love to find out. But they, they're really well made. Sweet dollies. So, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to share. I just feel like I struck gold. Really excited about these. So... A little messy hair. They need a little bit of TLC, but uh, for the most part, they're in great condition. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.